What's popping, guys? It's a very special day. It is Saturday in the morning, and we have a special guest. Okay, no, we don't have a special guest. Uh, it's only me today, but you know, we can still have fun with just me. Um, I don't have any plans for today. You know, none of my friends invited me to anything. So yeah, um, so yeah, let's go write a let's go write a web app. You know, because because there's nothing else to do apparently, but. Come on in. Okay, all right, so let's write a simple web app. I don't know what I want to build. All right, so usually what I like to do, I like to start off with a template. So usually what I do is I like to put it on Heroku. I like to host on Heroku because it's just a lot faster and I don't need to think about the servers and stuff like that. So I made a template called Node.js template. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna git clone it onto my computer and then maybe rename it to something else, maybe called Project Joma. No, Project Find Joma a wife. Uh, and then let's go here. As you can see, let's see if it works. Node.js index. Ooh, something's wrong. Cannot find module. That is because we have to npm install first. So this will install all the packages that my template uses. Let's look at package.json. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. But yeah, so we got Express, EJS. Okay, that's cool, cool, cool. All right, so Express is basically a web framework, and uh, yeah, so let's try it out. Node.js.index, listening. Let's see, localhost 5000. Seems to work <laughs> real well. All right, and then next, uh, I kind of forgot how to do this, but next I'm gonna deploy to Heroku. So Heroku create, get pushed to Heroku. Come on, come on, yeah, compressing, done, launching. Oh, they gave me this URL, vast hollows. All right, and then let's see if it works. Okay, cool. All right, Joma's a douche. Sounds about right. So as you can see, now it's already deployed to Vast Hollow. So now I have the deployment ready. So I am ready to code, but I'm not a coder. I'm not a rapper. All right, so now I have to think about what I don't want to build. Hmm. So usually I like to think of a problem that I have and then find a solution for it. So all I have to do is find my most annoying problem. I need a girlfriend. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go get lunch, but um, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll think about what to build, yeah. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. I have nobody. Mr. Lonely, wish I had someone to call on the phone. I'm a soldier, a lonely soldier, away from home, through no wish of my own. That's why I'm lonely I'm Mr. Lonely I wish that I could All right, okay. So I thought about it and I kind of want to build something for me and my uh, non-existent girlfriend so that we can watch YouTube videos together and it will sync 
together. You know, for example, if I play and I pause or I stop the video, it's going to do the same to her or if she does the same thing. Now, this probably already exists, but it's good practice, you know. So, all right, uh, let's start building this app. All right, so first we're going to take off this abomination of a page. Okay, so we're going to take off this disgusting picture. Okay, take this off. Mm. Okay, and then next what we're going to do is we're going to learn about the YouTube uh, player embedded player JavaScript. Okay, and then we read the documentation and see how we use it. See what this looks like. Cool. All right. So now we have a YouTube player, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna learn about how to, you know, use the JavaScript to play, stop, pause, and also I'll I'll make it a little bit more pretty. All right. First, we're just gonna make this a little bit prettier. Change that to 720. Change this to 480. All right. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it's a little bit bigger, cool. I wanna change it to this pretty video because I like to, you know, I like to have fun while I code, you know. But I'm, I'm not a coder though. Oh, very nice, okay. Oh, wow. Okay, and oh, I don't like the margin. I think I'm just gonna increase the margin a little bit. So let's go to CSS, main. There's no more headshot. Let's put this to the player and then margin top let's change it to maybe 50 let's see if that see if that looks good okay that looks a little bit better all right so this is it for the aesthetic uh, just so that I can code better so I have more motivation to code now and then what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at this API um, gonna figure out a way to send these information to my server so that I can sync it between all of the people on all of the people on the website watching the player so after looking at the API I realized that they don't have everything I need it's because sometimes I kind of just want to send the request to play or to stop to my server before they actually play but the YouTube player doesn't allow me to do that. So I'm going to have to make a controller that is an extra layer above the YouTube player so that I could send a request to my server without it having to actually play. So I do that so that I can actually synchronize both of the users while they watch it. So the first thing of what I did is I stripped out all the YouTube player stuff. And how I did that was um, I, read, I read the documentation and I learned that you can take out the controls by control equals zero, disable keyboard shortcuts, modest branding, and stuff like that. But now we got to add our own stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some buttons. So I usually just go, let's see, bootstrap, bu button, glyphicon. And then I just copy this. So right under the player, uh, I'm gonna make a new div called the player controls or something. All right, add a button here. Maybe add another button. So I wanna add a play button. Oops, play, and I wanna add the pause button. Okay, let's see what it looks like. All right, cool. So we got these two buttons now. And now we need a timeline. Uh, we need a timeline because we need the user, we need to allow the user to skip around and also to know where they are. So yeah, let's just add that real quick. I never should have kissed you. I never should have done that. But I could not resist you. Never felt like that girl I swear.
And then that's it. Now we got our bar and it seems to work pretty well. Ooh, yeah, let's see if we restart it. Yeah, and then it starts the video. And yeah, it seems pretty accurate to me. All right, unfortunately, we're out of time because it's already been almost 10 minutes. So next steps. The next steps would be to connect the back end and the front end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect them using WebSockets to communicate with each other. If you don't know what WebSockets are, don't worry about it. I will explain on the next video. So yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and I will comment for the first 30 minutes of releasing this video. So uh, yeah, comment and don't forget to press the bell button for the notification so that next time you could comment and I'll reply. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, peace out. I never should have kissed you, kissed you. I never should have done that, done that. But I couldn't resist you, you. Never felt like that girl.